we'll first start off with the Art Institute of Houston is the beneficiary today for the 10th annual Risotto Festival. Can you give us a little insight on what all the um, what all the proceeds are going to? Absolutely. Um, at the Art Institute, we have an education foundation, and we have scholarship funds from today that will go into that account and help some of our students continue to pursue their creative passion in the culinary arts. So we're very proud. Lovely desserts out today, and I want to get a little feel for what we have on the table for everybody. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Starting off over here, we have the biscotti topped with a fresh chocolate ganache. Next to it, we have our Oreo cookie balls that have been rolled in vermicelli. Up next, we have our raspberry truffles, which are coated in a candy coating. Then we have our brandy truffles rolled in macadamia nuts. And then over here, we have our peanut butter cups, which are just peanut butter graham cracker with some fresh chocolate ganache on top, topped with some edible glitter. And then finally, we have our elephant ears. Well, I will say they all look absolutely amazing. I might have to take a little platter of each. <laughs> what type of flair are you adding to your risotto today? Um, flair, you know, I just, I like to incorporate natural uh, products, you know, uh, keeping classic dishes simple, you know, but maybe enhancing it with a little bit of my own twist and finesse. So I actually have a, a wild mushroom risotto. Uh, mushrooms are in season, a uh, little white truffle oil, a little lemon zest, you know, uh, it, it keeps it clean on your palate. And I did a little pairing with with uh, Secco Italian bubbles, but don't, don't tell them yet. Okay, so. Today we're gonna do something very unique. Today we're gonna take two very great cultures and really bring them together. We're gonna start by channeling my home state from Louisiana, born and raised in New Orleans my whole life. We'll take a little treat from the west part of Louisiana, uh, boudin, a very traditional Cajun specialty. We'll take it, combine it with risotto to make something very unique. So we'll have the coming together cultures of very traditional Italian risotto combined with a little Louisiana flair, a little spiciness uh, brought to you from Louisiana, of course. My organization that I'm in is Hospitality Educators Association of Texas. And the Art Institute is very instrumental with our students and getting them into culinary school. So we always back the Art Institute in any way we can help, we do. Bravissima, <laughs> bravissima. And we are here at the Risotto Festival. Um, it was started about in 1984, and we have been doing since those days, just for the fun of helping and contributing, not to the community, but also to schools that need always donation. Uh, Danzel is a great man to produce this event, and we are so extra happy that we can contribute and extremely pleased that my colleagues come every year and support the event. <laughs> 